This is going to be a short video tutorial for my Touch Develop curriculum. This is for Activity 1A, which is going to be demonstrating how to create a basic script using Touch Develop. Start by going to the website, which is www.touchdevelop.com, and then choose your way to log in. You've got three options with Touch Develop. You can log in using a Microsoft Live or Hotmail account. You can log in and link your Touch Develop to Facebook, or you can use a Google Mail or Google Plus account. I'm going to use Microsoft Live, and I'm going to log in to my Live account. And we should be getting synced now. There we go. You see it's synced, and all my apps are back. What we're going to do in this tutorial is just create a basic script, which is what Touch Develop calls an app. So we're going to hit Create Script here. We're going to take the blank option for an empty script. And I'm going to call it activity 1A for originality and select create. And there we have our first app. If you run that, absolutely nothing happens. So I'm going to hit back. Um, let's make it do something. So we're going to go into the main action here. Um, actions are what they call functions or methods. Um, whatever you want to describe them as. Usually in most programming languages they refer to as functions and more modern languages you might call them methods but in Touch Develop they're called actions and they're short blocks of code. In Touch Develop the main action is the one that runs right away as soon as you run it so that always runs first. In there we're going to just put string and we're going to we're going to click on string and then we're going to say hello world. I'm going to add a wee exclamation mark. And then we're going to click on that or select on that and we're going to say post to wall. In touch develop, the screen is basically called the wall. So let's run that now. And there we've got a message on our wall. And we've got an amazing app that does whole world. We can change that message to whatever we want. Very easily change things. There you go, hello UK. So most of the buttons in Touch Develop, well, if you watch this, if you want to add a new line, you click on this button here that says add. You see that most of the commands are here. So if you're using a purely touch device, you can just use your finger and, and tap on the options here. You can scroll through them there as well. Um, and you can use the same thing for the numbers as well. For doing the strings, you'll need to use the pop-up keyboard on your mobile device. Um, but most things can be done from this interface here. And that's basically our simple app created. You can cut and paste as well, so I'm going to cut that line out so there's not an empty line there. I'm going to hit the back button here where it says My Scripts, which takes me back to you. Now, as you notice at the top it said Sync in there, which means it's saving basically. And if I hit My Back again to go to the hub, again it syncs up the top left. And that's that activity saved and my first app created. And that's the end of the first tutorial, so give that a try.